Hello everyone, my name is Haig, I'm a user experience consultant at Play DNA, and in this video I'm going to address a question we received about rooting MIDI out of Liquid Rhythm in Logic Pro 10. The problem is that Logic Pro audio units don't actually support MIDI out, uh, so our team developed a solution to that problem which I'm going to walk you through right now. Uh, so what I've done here is I've loaded an empty project, and this is the first screen we're met with. So I'm going to create a software instrument which is selected by default. And actually, I'm going to create two of them. Okay, so I'm going to initialize this channel uh, by clicking right over here and selecting Reset Channel Strip so that I'm working with two blank slates. Now my first instrument track, I'm going to load Liquid Rhythm, which when you click the instrument uh, bar over here and scroll down to uh, your unit instruments will be at the bottom of the list here under Wave DNA. The next step would be to load a very quick performance. So I'm going to go into the library panel and click the loops tab and just select any beat here. Drum and bass is always fun. All right, so now I have a very simple performance here in Liquid Rhythm and I'm going to use the command tab keys to switch back to Logic Pro and go to my second instrument track and load Ultra Beat, which is Logic Pro's drum synth. And the solution is very simple now. I'm just going to switch back using Command Tab to Liquid Rhythm. And on the taskbar, we've implemented a new button called Drag and Drop MIDI, which you can click. And while clicking, you can switch back to Logic Pro and just drop right into the Ultra Beat track. Now I'm going to mute Liquid Rhythm, turn on my loop region, and press play. So if we switch back and forth between Liquid Rhythm, we can see that actually this performance is exactly what's being read in this MIDI region here. So there you go. If you have any more questions, visit our support forums at wavedna.com. And thanks for watching.